Hello and welcome back. It's Double O Debbie, and this is episode 62 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today we're back here uh, having some good times. So, let's see. I just got done bringing full jars of source up to all my farms so that they can run now. So, that's good. I, I, uh, I threw everything into the system and I had to come through and go look and find my chest with all my stuff in it just so I could get all my empty jars because I was down there uh -oh. working on trying to set this thing up but I'm having some issues I don't know I don't know how to get it to do what I need to do, uh, you know, in a small space. Uh, so I've got it back here. I tried, uh, I tried the little soup circuit maker. The thing about that is that it doesn't. It doesn't transfer the signal straight the same as what Minecraft does. Um, so I'm trying XNet, which can do some pretty cool things. I've got the controller over here, and I'm trying to tell it to send a signal, but these um, connectors right here that you're supposed to have. Oh, man. Uh, you're supposed to have these to connect, but they don't connect to... Stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, they don't connect to the spell turrets. So I have to find some way to send a signal to the turret. Uh, and I was thinking a block like this. I could send uh, put a repeater here and have it just send a signal to the repeater when the requirements are met. Because it's not transferring the strength of the signal correctly so i was having problems with uh, it would place the jar down but then as soon as any mana at all got into it boom it would break it so if it was empty it would leave it but as soon as that first little bit of mana or source goes into it it uh yeah it um this takes away. So I'll, have, <laughs> I'll try working on that again and fiddle with it, see if I can get it to come up. I was just so tired this morning, I could not, I could not focus on that. Oh, <laughs> I just left it alone. Um, yeah, I put all my empty jars back up here. There were a couple that were close to being full, so I just put them up there as well. Because I don't have... Oh, here's some more empty ones. Maybe I can you 100%. You look like you're 100%. You look like you're 100%. I don't know. Those two don't look it, though. I'll leave them. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, I also have another farm to put things in and I forgot all about it. I have the uh the clay farm. I need to put some jars over here too. Oh look it's got stuff in there. I must have turned it off. There we go. Ah that means I've got no more clay. Um Got two full source jars, so I think I'll just go ahead and leave those. Well, those are empty. Boop. 
Aha. Oh my goodness. I got 13 full source jars. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, can't believe I even have that many jars. Um, these are my spell parchments for it. Um, I had to, I had to go to the nether, uh, because I had to get, uh, some more blades rods so I could make the other set of ender chest. And I figured I would go grab that other blade spawner with the cardboard boxes while I was at it. And, um... Yeah, I did the big no no. <laughs> um, I haven't really worked with this mod in a while, so I didn't know how to pick it up. So, uh, I was playing around with it. Oops, look, it worked. Right click on it. Uh, but right clicking again doesn't do anything. Uh, so I said, well, I think I remember you just break the block. So I broke it with my spell book. And the spell book, I guess, it didn't like it being broken by a spell book. So it broke the spawner. But you should just left click and get the cardboard box. So it just needed to be broken. But I guess since I broke it with my spell book and not my hand it just it broke the spawner so i now have a broke spawner somewhere in the system it came up here somewhere um yeah it's in one of these uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just saw it. I need to get some more. Uh, oh my god. Now I'm gonna. I have no idea where it went. Oh, maybe it wound up in the miscellaneous. Yes. No. is this oh it's forbidden and arcanus okay i probably clicked right past it several times uh, forbidden and arcanus ah, there it is spawner scrap that's that's my blaze spawner now <laughs> so don't break your cardboard box with your spell book because it doesn't like it not it at all. Um, how do you get it out? Uh, shift right click to get it out. All right, so that's my story. I now have uh, the other ender chest, and I got 31 more blaze rods i did also get some swabs and i turned them into chicken feed and stuff uh to i guess you use the entity spawner use some mob egg in the top slot Sack was talking about um you get solid xp jelly babies a solidifier um solidifier solidifier 
squeeze the little part. I've never done this before. It looks pretty cool though. I haven't made any entity affairs either. It looks like we'll need an experience mold jelly baby. <laughs> um, solidifies fluid experience using molds to create edible XP jellies. Sounds like a good time. Uh, yeah, here's my stuff I was putting up there. So we can't do this. Uh, Jake was telling me that we can't do this because the Rose of Oblivion spawns in the nether. I mean, not in the nether, in the end. So I can't get this done until I go to the end. Uh, oh, there are some things that I want to make uh, with our studio as well. I want to make this focus of summoning so that when I summon my uh, wolves, they will be focused and have more power. Oh no, I can't do this. This is something that I have no idea about. Um, the Wilden Tribute. Getting the Wilden Chimera defeated. I have no idea what that's about. I think I have a Wilden Spike, but not very many. I have more wings and Wilden Horns than I got from the mob system. But I don't think I have any very many spikes at all. What are you doing in my ranch? That's for animals. Whoa! <laughs> I had so much fun watching them shoot each other the other day. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> turtle up, turtle up. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They they go right through the shield, man. That's crazy. I could have killed them. I had I was having too much fun watching them kill themselves. Now that's just wrong. Corpse camping. What? Ah. Ah. All those arrows. Holy shazoli. I don't like it that I can only click one of those things in. I think that goes... Oh, that goes all the way down at the bottom. Yes. And a boot, and a boot, and a boot. Oh, that's felt. That's great. Oh, and the necklace. I have so many doodads. Here's a spot for the spell focus, so it's getting a brand new slot. And it's, oh, that's right. I just was talking about that. I can't get this golden tribute. Uh, so I might need to look into that. But I, I need to make this Enchanter's Mirror. That's another way to store a spell. I don't know what type of spell uh, it can hold. <laughs> like it, it'll probably do some special things like uh, for free. Like the sword and the, the wand. Uh, yeah, I think the sword does touch and amplify for free. And I think the casting one does projectile for free. Yeah. I 
Get this thing filled up in no time. So I also need to make some food. I'm getting short on my food again. Some milk. That's body good. And put you away. You broke my thing. Let's put all of these things away. So let's just try and use this entity spawner thing because um I, I need specific drops sometimes and it would be good to be able to tell it uh to make just a certain mob so we can use the experience that we're getting from the mob system now to turn into this jelly baby stuff so let's go make that happen i don't know where i would put it maybe behind behind the, the mob farm down there So, oh, the spell prism can, that might be what I need to do the grow spell over there. There is a way to put like runes on the ground. I read about that, but I don't know. That would be kind of cool to put a moon on the ground. Um, I don't think it's a ritual. There are still so many rituals I haven't done either. We could do Tablet of Fertility. Huh. Well, I think I've got like four, eight, twelve. Yeah, it's close to twenty in there, so I don't think doing this would help. Uh, but I thought there was rooms that you could put on the ground. Also, I would like a familiar about the mod news. Support Ars Nouveau. Contribute a custom tome of Zeke Marissa. You know, maybe once I get moved, I might do that. Some money things coming up. So. See, there's magical machines that I haven't even read about yet. Uh, the Scryer's Oculus and the Scry Crystal. What the heck is that? Can be used to look through as if you were standing there. I click to enter the camera or bind the camera to a scry scroll by using blank part. Oh, that is pretty cool. I don't know what in that allows you to remotely access scry crystals. Scribe scroll. That's pretty neat, but not what I was looking for. Maybe it's a not an Ars Nouveau thing. Maybe I'm thinking of Nature and Aura. Maybe they have uh, the runes I was thinking about. Do you have runes? Natural practices. Sing Aura. There do look like there's some cool rituals in here. Alright, 
balance. Back, oh, natural items. Yeah, this isn't mechanical devices. Now that's got me. <laughs> Dang it. I know there was something that was talking about you could place a rune on the ground and it would cast a spell. And I thought that was cool, but I can't remember which one it is. So let's just do this. And get... Oh, we actually have an extra singularity tank and an extra hopper, I think, lying around in here. This hopper. And singularity tank. Easy. I need to take these avocados and make me some sushi because I'm, I'm, I've only got one food left to my name. And that's not good. That is an XP mold blank. It takes gold nuggets around my bucket. Okay, so you just turn it into the XP mold. That, well, that's cool. We'll need to carry eight nuggets around with me so that I, when I go down there, I can grab a bucket of experience and make that. Big. So what else do we need? We need a piston and an entity conveyor. It's just redstone and a little bit of slime ball. But we only need two slime balls. Um, also, I need to take some upgrades down there. For, because gunpowder and one of the, the elemental craft shards is full. <laughs> and it's... Uh, leaking into my chest down there. Uh, so redstone, iron, glass, and piston. Oh, I, I don't have the wood. Like this is why I always have wood on me. Well, I always have wood. There's the piston, and we need the little entity conveyors, six of them. Then we can go boop and get an XP solidifier. And I wonder, I'm pretty sure this probably takes power, maybe? And this, we need solid XP. Three eyes of ender. I could get so much more. Uh, I had my incinerator out. Okay, uh, a block of redstone. And two blocks of iron. And then uh, and another piston. Oh. Another piston there. Now we need is two solid XP, which you have to make jelly babies. How do you make jelly babies without making jelly babies? So maybe I have to go down there and set this thing up and get the jelly babies. Let me get my bucket out. Also, I need at least two of those copper upgrades. Um, <laughs>
So I need four chests and two drawers, four blocks. Do you think I have some chests in here? A couple of them. So we're going to need three more chests. Let's just make one like this. It's easier. And then get some more planks here. Where did I? Uh, two, two. One, two. And we got it. There it is. All right, so I can throw these in there, and I think I have everything. I have a bucket ready to go. Hopefully. Okay, so let's grab some experience. Um, table, make an XP mold, and then make a Billy Baby mold. Awesome. Um, now we gotta get this XP solidifier. don't know how this works, so I don't know exactly where I need it to be. But we got a little bit of room over here. What if I just... This is it. Put like right here, it's connected. It'll automatically get XP. And we can, what do you do? Just put the mold up here. Ah. Okay, it's off. It's on. <laughs> nice. So it looks like it can push into a nearby inventory, maybe. So let's look at that. Got one chest ready. Um, maybe it might be better if it was a storage drawer, maybe? So let's just turn that into a storage drawer real quick. Get a little bit more storage. Okay. So we can... What side is that? The south side. Okay, push north, east, south. There we go. Got it set up. I don't know what this is for. Damn it, babies! So we need 18 of these to make the entity spawner. So while that's getting us some stuff. Let's go up here and install these upgrades. I need it for the gunpowder. And, oh, I've got multiples over here. Got the purple ones too. So our chest could clear up now. There's the water shards. Oh, it's my die full, or is it just, yeah, it's just not getting to everything just yet. So I need another, oh no, okay, it's okay, I got upgrades on that. We are, I'm going to have to put a void upgrade on this one. I can tell it's going to be the first one to get full. <laughs> I even have like the other 
one be voided? <laughs> so I could have twice as many slime balls, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, they're getting kind of up there. Uh, 1.3k, 1.5k, 1.5k. That's one, two, three. Uh, plus that one is four. Uh, and it might be good to get five, six, those two as well. <laughs> Try to see if there's anything else that looks like it's close. Uh, so we need six more copper upgrades. Thirty, nice. Okie dokie. Um, Oh, I should have everything on me. This two, two, one, two, and entity spawner. I've never used this before. I have no idea how it works. Uh, spawn mobs in a three by three by one area. <laughs> uses a mob egg in the top slot and I know how to make the mob eggs. I just need sacrificial chickens to feed my seeds to and I have a blaze seed and a wither skeleton seed. So I happened to see some wither skeletons when I was in there too. Enhance with XP speed upgrades and spawner height width upgrades. Okay, so there are upgrades. Area of effect can be toggled in its GUI and position can be offset in its GUI. Okay, so let's look at every mob. There's upgrades. So we we can use the the height and width upgrades. Entity spawner with upgrade, height upgrade, and then an XP speed upgrade. Okay, what do those look like? Uh, XP, blaze powder, sugar. Okay, that seems pretty okay. We could probably just grab grab some buckets and take it with us, but we didn't get two buckets on us. Um, what does this one take? Another bucket of experience and yeah eggs okay that seems pretty cool it's a speed upgrade Well, what are we doing? We got 13. It's not coming in very fast now. I guess we'll just let it do its thing. And I might need to bring, either bring everything down here with me to do this. Uh, the upgrades or uh, bring lots of buckets and go back up. Um, I don't think I need the conveyor anymore. Which you away. Now I wonder if this uses power or not. Let's go look. I, I'll, I think I want to just go behind here a little bit further. Let's fill the mob farm and we'll need 
the skinny jelly baby babies to keep it going, I guess. Um, I need my mining gadget. My in the middle, I'm in the middle. <laughs> On Uh, but it looks like you can adjust the height and width of it. You can only have, yeah, I don't really know, I don't, it, does it have the chance to spawn multiple mobs with each summoning? Because I don't really see what the benefit of upgrading the height and width of it is if it only spawns one mob at a time. If that makes sense. Uh, so. Oops. What happens? Here. Um, yeah, so I will work on, it's, it's been more than enough time, so I will work on clearing out this area and getting this guy down uh, and seeing, you know, how to use it. Um, I mean, these look easy enough to do. You can only make five of them, uh, so... I would need wax 10 buckets or I could do five at a time something like that but yeah and lots of eggs don't know that I have what is that six times five is 30 I don't know that I have 60 eggs I might accidentally have 60 eggs anyway <laughs> I will continue on my journey of exploring the entity spawner and See you next episode. Thank you for watching and bye bye.